<laughs> well, hello everybody. Hi. Hello. Um, hello. And we're at the end of the day where Nikita Chloe went back into the workshop, mm. had some work done. Yes, she um, did, yes. We found that the two leisure batteries were completely done in. Yep. Um, no wonder the electrics were going funny. Mm -hmm. So they replaced one, they get another one to just pop in there tomorrow. Um, they fixed the step motor, so that all works nicely now. Mm -hmm. Um, they've replaced the water pump yep. and the sort of gauze filter. They think there was a bit of damage on that. Um, what else? Are they? Oh, they've changed over the gas it yes. uh, system. But <laughs> so far, even if I go and turn the gas bottles on, the gas doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but they've not finished yet. They do need it back for tomorrow morning. Yes to do a service, a full PDI check over, yep. a full valet uh, of the van. Mm -hmm. um, so it should be sparkly clean tomorrow. Um, we put out the awning, didn't we? Because that was we did test the awning tonight. Yeah, we put out the rollout awning, <laughs> yes. which came out fine. Yeah. But now I can't get the blooming, I've wound it back in, I can't yeah. get the blooming winder no, handle out. No. So I've had to leave it out there all night. Um, so we don't know why that is. Oh, and tomorrow morning we're going to test the outdoor shower, aren't we? Oh, we're going to test the, out, the yes. external shower And that'll be point. very bracing mm. for both of us and Pippin, yes. <laughs> well, we're not going <laughs> to... <laughs> we're not well, going to have a shower well, outside. No, no, I don't... We're in a blooming car park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, one thing we did find out about the auto trail that's different to the mm. Hymer is that the fridge, although it's a three-way fridge, runs on electric, battery and gas, uh, the battery operation only works when the engine's running. Mm. Not like um, Jasmine. Jasmine ran the fridge on battery without the engine running, yes, just while did. we were yeah. parked up. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, Anyway, that was a bonus. So the advice yeah. I've had, I didn't, I didn't believe Travel World no. at all. So I went on to the Auto Trail Facebook owners group, and everybody came back and said, "Yep, yeah, yeah. they're right. Yes. It only runs yes. when the engine's running." Um, but leave, leave it on auto, and it works it all out for itself, and that, that's right. the best way. So you leave it on auto. When you're plugged into the electric, it runs on that. When you're driving, it'll auto switch over to leisure batteries. So it just, yeah. well, actually, yeah. it doesn't switch over the leisure. It switches over to the starter battery, so the to the mm. engine battery, and then gets fed from the alternator. Um, that's its battery operation. Uh, and then when you're not on electric hookup and you're not en engine running, it it will switch over automatically to gas operation. So it'll be kept running all the time. It won't run on gas at the moment because there's no gas no, being supplied no. out of the two 11 kilo gas no, bottles no. that we've got loads of gas in. In the changeover, they've also lost one of the uh, full empty gauges uh, off of one of the bottles. <laughs> you know, they're such a bag of monkeys. They really are. Just, there's no care and attention no, to detail. No. <laughs> what if... Here's the funny thing, I found in the battery compartment, somebody's wrapped the spare battery cables. So instead of taking them off and making it all tidy, ready for us, before they put the new battery in, they've just wrapped the spare battery cables that should be connected to the other battery in somebody's old grey hoodie. Yeah. So there's an old grey hoodie stuffed into the battery compartment where it should be, with the wires wrapped in it. You think, you know, is that professional or not? I suggest that it's not. Um, <laughs> so, so anyway, so we can't we can't cook on gas tonight. There's no. no cooking going on. We can't run the fridge on gas. No. We can't run the heating on gas. You can't do anything. Cause we can't test the gas operation. No, we can't. Tonight. No. Because well, that is to say that we can test it, but. <laughs> It's not going to work. Well, it doesn't work. We have tested it. It doesn't work. 
<laughs> oh, and since we've been here, we've looked everywhere, but we can't see Jasmine Meyer, so she must be inside a workshop. So we are going to see her tomorrow because we're going to get our stuff out, and that'll yeah. be a. I we're think gonna swap I, over. I, I know I'm going to be very sad. We're going to try. I'm so we're gonna, sad. We're going to yes. try to film a bit of it, yes. but I, I don't want to be distracted by the filming of things because no. you know it takes a lot of effort to to film mm. a vlog when you're doing stuff live. It take you know you need a camera crew, and mm. I'm the camera crew, and I'm supposed to be doing the other stuff as well. So mm. very difficult. I'll try and film bits as I can. So um, will I. I want yeah. to film the handover if I can while they're talking yeah. to you. I really want yeah. to try and do it. I really want to show you the beds as we left them because I just want to. But we'll see how it goes, won't we? Yeah. We will. And we tomorrow will. night we should be back where we belong. On the road? <laughs> no, back with um, Nikita. That's where and we belong. We'll be behind us, yes. We, uh, um, we belong on the road. Yeah. With the nose of the van pointing south, yes, to warmness, to warmness, to and no way, freezing here, and no more yeah. head. And we don't want Nikita ever to head back to Travel World, do we? No, no. I think we'll just bite the bullet and repair all things else mm. ourselves. <laughs> it's what people are advising us to <laughs> yeah. do on the internet. Yeah, uh, so. we can't. Well, so many nights we've spent in the car park and walking around mm. Halesford Field. Halesford fourteen. Industrial estate. Halesford Industrial Estate is a massive complex of things, mm. and there's a big um, cycle track pavement mm. around the whole thing. Mm. So we've had a good good amount of walking, it but was, it does go into sort of um, you know a, a clockwork orange underpass type areas. Mm. If you've ever seen Clockwork Orange, uh, then you'll know what I mean. But it is like some, sort of well. A bit scary and, and Tel graffitied up and dark. Telford is a new town and, and it was built in the 1960s. And Hellsford Industrial Estate was completed in 1968. And I think to mm. encourage people to walk and cycle, all around the outside is a perimeter of paths and cycle paths. And they're so unused now. Um, it's like stepping muddy. back in time. Yeah, yeah. it is. Quite interesting, but it's good for people that live near with their dogs. It's sort of <laughs> clockwork orange, yeah, Stanley is. Kubrick, yeah. Orwellian type. Quite interesting. Stuff it's going on. It's really like it's really stepping it. back to the 1960s round here. Mm. Anyway, Pippin's anyway, enjoyed so the that, long walk, so that's so that. that. That's, that's yes. how we are today. Yep. We're we're, mm. we're reasonably happy, um, but what I will say is that Travel World try and fleece you at every stage. They try and fleece it. So, so we were just signing up some paperwork and they said, right, OK, here's here's the warranty. You've got some manufacturer warranty left um, and we're going to give you three month warranty um, starting in three months time. Mm -hmm. So we've got like um, about five months left on the warranty from from Auto Trail. So the warranty they were giving us would last maybe a month after the manufacturer warranty. So, so, I, so we, Wendy very cleverly said, I want to know what that says. So you can read it out, Steve. Yeah. Read it out loud to us all. Yeah. <laughs> so I went through it and I questioned every bit of it. Yeah. And he went off to uh, Annabelle, the customer services manager. She came back a few minutes later and said, Oh, um, what we've done is we've given you a one-year uh, insurance-based warranty, so you won't ever have to come back to us. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the level of, of feeling. They just try and fleece us. He was trying to press me to sign that bit of paper. If I'd signed that, mm. guess what? No insurance-backed warranty for a year after. No. So we've got a one-year warranty that we can continue as long as we have the habitation check done. Mm. And I, I said to him, have you done all the damp checks? Because I know when we took our caravan in, mm. that's the first thing they did. They damp checked it and said, oh, the, the, this is this is awful. Yeah, I know. And I said, oh, have you damp checked the auto trail? And he said, oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. I said, well, have, where's, you know, where's the form? And they said, oh, here it is. Oh, uh, they haven't filled it in yet i.e. they haven't done it yet 
So they're prepared to lie to you yes. at every blooming stage. Well, maybe that's what they take care over. Take care to fleece the client at mm. every stage. I so, bet they'll be bringing out the champagne tomorrow night when we sign the papers. They've certainly got enough of our money to buy a case of it. <laughs> yeah, they have. I tell you. Oh, and this God. salesman wants me to fill out a blooming survey. He's a different mm. salesman. Mm. And I'm, I must say, he's a younger, more dynamic uh, salesman, <laughs> much nicer. It reminds me of our son. Yeah. <laughs> don't let that influence you, though. Is that, <laughs> I don't know. One of our sons. It's really... I won't say which one, but he definitely mm. does. He's rather sweet, I thought. So but... when we said to the <laughs> workshop manager, James, you know, what, you know, what work has been done, what's left... He was trying to quote stuff out of his head. He didn't have a list. Now, you'd expect for a workshop manager to know exactly and to have a job card, wouldn't you? You know, with things ticked mm. off, this is done, this is done. And for him to go with that and do a blooming quality check of it. But no, they don't do it. They don't, they just, you know, fly through things. You know, and that's clear because our customer services rep that we're now assigned to or is assigned to us, a um, lady called Parveen, she's very good, by the way. She's been top-notch all the way through. The only good thing about Travel World is Parveen. Um, <laughs> she, she's excellent. There's no bullshit with her. She's, you know, she's just really above board. Anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying now. Well, oh, no. Anyway, I think we've, I we've gone. Yeah. We don't need to carry on anymore. I've gone I think on we long should, enough. No, we have gone apparently. on long enough. So we're going to say <laughs> we're going to go good night because we've got to get up early to get the and check a few things before we take the van in early tomorrow morning. But bear in mind, we? there's no edit here. No. This is the this is one of my <laughs> one take wonders. Yes, it is. A one -take uh, we've done a one take wonder here. We like these, um, mm. and indeed, um, with the gypsy souls who we. have Subscribe to them, subscribe to us. Mm. They're over in Spain. Hi. Uh, is it Judy and Mark and no. Summer? They yes, Summer's yeah. their dog, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they're worried about editing. So this is the sort of thing you can do with a one take. Mm. And I know you have been doing the one takes. So continue doing it. You don't need any more. And just upload mm. it straight away. Done. Anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah job done so that's it we we've, we've got a good service manager who i hope we'll never speak to again <laughs> uh, after we leave here and uh yeah we'll be back to our usual spot at the campsite fingers crossed fingers tomorrow. crossed yeah. by the end of tomorrow yeah be lovely mm. oh by the way we're clearing out a load of old um, well, how shall I put it? Some lovely things that people might want to buy. Yeah, we are. I was going to say a load of old crap, um, <laughs> but we've we've got we're selling a load of stuff on eBay. Um, no, not on to, eBay. On not Facebook. on eBay. No. eBay. I keep saying they eBay. It's you not off. No. Facebook Marketplace mm. for the local area where we are. And it's working really well. I've already mm. sold three things yes, in good. like two days. So that's you know it's brilliant, much much better than yeah. eBay, and there's no fees. People because arrive at your house or your well at the campsite, they give me cash, I give them the thing, job done. Because brilliant. what with all the going on, we were so sick of that awning, so chock a block. That was so bad, we couldn't sit out there. It's ridiculous to have an mm. awning where you can't sit out. So we're we're on it now. We're on mm. it, aren't we? We're going we're to get it. rid of it now. Yeah. And never again, never again will we. Anyway. Anyway, that's enough for tonight. That's the third time lucky of saying goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is time. We're tired. I want to go to bed. We're yeah. tired. I'm tired. You're Pippi's tired. Gone to they sleep, are so. probably tired of yeah. listening to us. Yes. So goodbye, goodbye everybody. And good night. We will yeah. make a further video tomorrow. Yes. Um, hopefully. Hmm. When we finish all that, we'll be able to yeah. really, really tell you the down and dirty story <laughs> of Trouble World. I mean, Travel World. <laughs> Bye for Bye now. Bye for now. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Thank you. Bye now. <laughs>